The International Monetary Fund IMF came into formal existence in 1944 following the Bretton Woods Conference held the year before. It was created to prevent economic crises such as the Great Depression. The IMF is a specialized agency of the United Nations and is run by its 190 member countries. The main objectives of the IMF are to promote international monetary cooperation, facilitate the expansion and balanced growth of international trade, promote exchange stability, assist in the establishment of a multilateral system of payments, make its general resources available to its members experiencing balance of payments difficulties under adequate safeguards, and shorten the duration and lessen the degree of disequilibrium in the international balance of payments of members. The World Trade Organization WTO, was born out of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade GATT, which was established in 19473. The goal of the WTO is to ensure that trade flows as smoothly and predictably as possible. If a trade dispute occurs, the WTO works to resolve it. The International Criminal Court ICC, is a court of last resort for the prosecution of serious international crimes, including genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Impetus for the court came from the ad hoc international tribunals set up in the 1990s to address the atrocity crimes committed in the former Yugoslavia and Rwanda. The International Criminal Court ICC, investigates and, where warranted, tries individuals charged with the gravest crimes of concern to the international community, genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity and the crime of aggression. As a court of last resort, it seeks to complement, not replace, national courts. Impetus for the court came from the ad hoc international tribunals set up in the 1990s to address the atrocity crimes committed in the former Yugoslavia and Rwanda too. The court's founding treaty, the Rome Statute, was adopted in July 1998, and the court began work in 2003 too. Since then, the ICC has made headway in bringing global attention to the need for accountability in prosecuting cases arising out of investigations in Central African Republic, Darfur, Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Uganda. But the court has had performance shortcomings including the prosecution's inability to submit sufficient evidence for convictions. The ICC has also faced intense political attacks and judicial setbacks, including lack of support in making arrests, and too limited resources from ICC member countries to match its growing workload. The ICC has had performance shortcomings including the prosecution's inability to submit sufficient evidence for convictions. The ICC has also faced intense political attacks and judicial setbacks, including lack of support in making arrests, and too limited resources from ICC member countries to match its growing workload. These shortcomings have left some of the most serious crimes unaddressed while also disappointing legitimate expectations of victims and affected communities. The effectiveness of international criminal justice is challenged from many sides. The ICC has had performance shortcomings including the prosecution's inability to submit sufficient evidence for convictions. The ICC has also faced intense political attacks and judicial setbacks, including lack of support in making arrests, and too limited resources from ICC member countries to match its growing workload. These shortcomings have left some of the most serious crimes unaddressed while also disappointing legitimate expectations of victims and affected communities. The effectiveness of international criminal justice is challenged from many sides. Amnesty International has warned that the court's legitimacy risks being eroded by an increasingly selective approach to justice. The organization highlighted several recent decisions and practices which appear to demonstrate double standards and a willingness to be influenced by powerful states. For example, in 2020 the Office of the Prosecutor OTP, decided not to investigate war crimes by UK forces in Iraq, despite its own finding that these crimes had been committed. This was followed by a decision in 2021 to deprioritize an investigation into war crimes in Afghanistan by U.S. and Afghan national forces, with Prosecutor Karim Khan citing viability and budget constraints. <laughs> 